Welcome to my channel, Sophie Gifted Power One. If you find that this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. Without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. If you're a return subscriber, gang gang, welcome back, loves. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I really appreciate it. If you're in a crowd of my personal readings, everything is listed down below in the description box. Without further ado, without further more, I just say show me the cards to shuffle it over the decks. And yeah, <clears throat> this is a career and finance reading. So I'm going to be looking into your career and your finances and see what you can be looking forward to. Seeing, you know, you know, give you some advice and stuff like that. So I'll back, I always hit the two cards on the top of my deck. We got book smart and we got overtime. So some of you, I'm getting an answer. to divine God um, wants you to put more effort into whatever you're working on um if you have a nine to five they want you to do more overtime to make more money for the things that you want to they basically want you to work hard for certain things that's going to open the door so if you know that you need money or finances for something they're telling you that they want you to put extra work in or be more focused um, i'm also getting that they want to tell you that you have all the tools that are disposable to make yourself whatever you want or create the lifestyle that you want um, the answer that you don't have will come to you in the time of when you need it. We also got book smart and street smart. So for some of you, I'm getting that ancestor divine God wants you to use both of them tools the way you need to. They give that you book smart and street smart, both of them tools for a reason. Book smart, you know, things that you learn to school, things that you can learn as far as reading from books, reading from like on site lines, um, reading from other, uh, you know, magazines, you know, reading from like dictionaries and, you know, books that's going to, you know, give you knowledge and versus street smart, the things that you have learned in life, the lesson that you learned, you know, certain positions that you've been in. Answers of Vanguard telling you that you're somebody that's very powerful. You have all the tools you need to be create something very powerful with both of them gifts that you have. Um, you could be somebody that's very proactive. So you somebody that already goes after the things that you want, but they're wanting you to put yourself out there more. If you somebody that wants to do something or you have a lot of knowledge or something like that, they wanted you to put yourself out there more. With this overtime and go hard in the paint, your ancestors, divine God, Holy Spirit, can want you to really focus on the things that you want, focus on the things that you care about. <clears throat> yeah, so ancestors, divine God, Holy Spirit, want you to use everything at your disposable, everything at your, um, your all the tools you have. I mean, you have a nine to five, they wanted you to do, put, you know, work hard harder as far like as far as um like making more money to get the finances that you need in order to purchase the things that you need to purchase but basically they don't want to use your book smart and they want you to use your street smart they want you to use both they're also telling you that you may want to learn more about book smart as far as it don't have to necessarily be like anything that you learned to school it could just be as far as reading books um, doing research on certain things that you want to know about. Like if you want to know about engineering or manufacturing, do research on that. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, again, but that's what I'm getting off bat. We got the four swords. I said four swords. Yeah, we got the four swords. So for some of you guys, you could be bored with your job. Um, you could be bored with what you do or you're just not happy with what you do. Um, for some of you guys, you can also be uh, fearful of putting yourself out there. You could be fearful of... Some of y'all are fearful of success, fearful of being bigger than what you are. Some of y'all are fearful of taking um taking that next step. Um, four source can also talk about needing to rest. It's also talking about being stressed. So some of y'all y'all can be stressed out with your finances or with your career. You could be stressed out. Some of y'all y'all could just be feeling um bored with the path that you chosen for some of y'all not for everyone but the board with the path the path that you have chose some of y'all you have a spark for something but you're not necessarily doing what it is that sparks your life or that gives you an intro you could be making you could be making money but from like another source i just some more energy yeah yeah we got the, some of y'all stressed out over finances y'all stressed out over funds with the five of pentacles and the four of swords y'all are stressed um y'all could be having a hardships for some of y'all could have lost your job some of you, you have the lack of resources that you need. That could be stressing you out or that can be making you feel stuck or keeping you in your mind. Or you could constantly be thinking about your career. Or you constantly can be thinking about the next couple of years or the next couple of months. You could also be thinking about where you go see your next check from for a couple of y'all. Um, 
some of y'all, um, you could be stressed out because you could have lost your job. Not for everyone, but for a couple of y'all. Some of y'all, you just are stressed out because you, whatever you do for money is not what you, is not making you happy. For a few of you. Yeah, we got the temperance card here. So for some of you guys that is going through something that is struggling, answer the divine guy with the temperance card when you have faith. Everything is going to come balanced out. Uh, everything i'm also getting that some of you guys you could be feeling like um you don't you can have resources for like bills and stuff but you don't have extra money to go out and explore and stuff like stuff certain stuff like that and you have to you know spend things in moderation for a couple of you answers divine god the spirit is wanting you to be patient wanting you to uh have faith keep faith you know this is um not going to always this they want you to know this is not going to um last some of you i am getting an answer to the vine god holy spirit can want you to invest your money that can also with the timbers card they can want you to put put in with especially with moderation here they can want you to like invest your money or spend your money in moderations but they can want you to spend it in, or invest it in certain areas where you will see see something from it um, for some of you, I'm getting that you could be working at a job or somewhere that you don't want to work at. But the temperance card, you could be trying to hold on to it, try to stay with it. You could be trying to keep your pension or keep balance. So, so some of you, I'm getting that. It's this energy where it's like you're not happy with what you're doing for work for a few of you. And you could, you could, some of y'all could be juggling the idea of quitting, letting it go, quitting. Um, some of y'all, you, you want to let it go, but it's paying the bills or it's, keep, it's keeping you afloat with the temperance. For some of y'all, it's just as far as you could have this in this energy where you want to stay or do you want to go energy because it's bored or you're not happy you know you be stressed out for some of you answers divine god holy spirit do want you to with the we also got the strength in reverse that can also mean um let us have to overpower you um that can also mean um not feeling not feeling like you have the confidence not feeling strong you know also talk about feeling weak in a way um, for some of you, I'm getting this energy with your career finances as answers to divine God, Holy Spirit. They're wanting you to manifest more. They're wanting you to believe in yourself more. Some of y'all are not believing or thinking that you're not capable of what you want, pay, capable of making things happen for yourself. For some of you, I'm getting this energy where answers to divine God, Holy Spirit are saying like, it's this, it's energy where it's like, you know, you're capable, but it's not, it's, it's almost like you're seeing yourself through rose colored glasses. You are able to, your endurance, whatever you're able to do, you're able to do 10 times more of the effort that you're putting in. This is why we had this overtime, go harder in the paint. Answers Divine God are saying that you can do more than what you're doing. They can, they're basically saying that you can do more than what you're doing. If you don't like your job, they're saying find another job, move it to another job, um, apply for a different job. If you're applying for a job, looking for a job, be hopeful that something's going to come to you because it is. Um, they're also saying that you have all the tools that you need around you to balance the situation out, to make something. You Answers of Vanguard is basically saying, don't forget who you are. You're somebody to make something out of nothing. You are somebody that's able to use the tools around you to, to as necessary. You have a lot of gifts. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So not in once in the upright, I can also talk about being very passionate. You know, it could talk about things coming in really quickly, you know, having new ideas, being creative, you know, having that passionate drive. But it came out it came out of reverse along with the strength card that came out of, out of reverse as well. And now we got the nine of pentacles. So for some of you guys, you with the nine of pentacles here, um, answers of Brian God are telling you that you're going to have to work hard for the lifestyle that you want. Uh, we got the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles talk about success, achievements. It, it's, it, it can also talk about a business, a business thriving, or it talk about wealth, independence, being self reliant on yourself. You know, having that much material, material security. You know, being stable, being good. Ancestors, divine God are saying that you will get back to the nine of pentacles. You will be the nine. You will, with especially with the tempers card here, you will become the nine of pentacles, or you will be back in the nine of pentacles energy of feeling balance of things going your way but answers divine god holy spirit with this knight of wands in reverse they're basically telling you that you could be burning yourself out you could not be having drive or you could not be feeling that drive or passion to what you're doing you can have a lot of passion or drive for something but you're not some of y'all you can you could turn your back on something with this four swords you could have you know turn your because so it's what four swords we're going to talk about death as far as like things like being dead things um things being you know pushed under as well beneath the surface 
happy. It can also talk about fear, stress, loneliness. But it can also, you know, also be in the solitude, having a lot of anxiety. Some of y'all can have a lot of anxiety over your finances, being in your head over your finances. But some of y'all, I'm getting that. Okay, I'm going to throw off these messages. Y'all take a resonate because they're resonating for y'all differently. Okay, so for some of y'all, I'm getting this energy where it's something that you're doing for work. It does not bring, it brings you money, brings you income, but it's something that does not make you happy. Um, for some of you guys, um, with this night of wands in, re in reverse, it's something that you're not really passionate about. Uh, some of y'all could have brought you passion in the past, but it wasn't something that burnt out very quickly. And some of y'all are just staying there to keep things afloat. Answers Divine God are saying that you need to start investing your money more into the things that you love to do. We also got Book Smart or Street Smart here, so that lets me know that you had the tools, the Street Smart and the Book Smart to... to make things happen for yourself you're just needing to take the first step stop being fearful to take that step stop being fearful to step into your power especially with the strength card in reverse don't be afraid to step into your power um uh, some of you you could just be afraid of success for some of you guys the answer is divine guy saying that you somebody's very capable you have a lot of endurance you're somebody that needs to show the case that step into your power and show that to the world you know you need to balance out your emotions and your feelings some of y'all, you could have lost your job recently or, you know, you could be low on money for some of you guys and things are not going good and you could be very stressed out. You could be having a lot of anxiety over your money or you'd be feeling like things are not balanced out. You also can be losing faith with the other ones that re in reverse with the strength. You can also be um losing um sight. Some of you guys, if you have a business or anything that you're working on, that can mean you losing sight of your business, forgetting why you even started it to begin with to, uh, you know... It, things are not going the progress or you're not seeing the progress as quick as you want because the nine of wands can also talk about things progressing very quickly as well or, or it, like a like a big spark but in reverse it can also talk about you know things not moving quickly as you want it to you know that the, the, the creativity that passion we have not moving as or not moving or having passion for something and then it not going as the way that you thought or not moving as quick as you want it to with the nine of pentacles so answer the vanguard saying don't lose sight of what you started the journey for keep going um you need to balance out your emotions see how far you have came as well with the nine of pentacles and slow progress is progress we got the devil card here yeah so some of you guys y'all could be with the devil card next to the nine of pentacles some of you guys you could be um, a little materialistic for some of y'all, you know, I'm not, then it's not correct for everyone. Everyone is not materialistic, but for some of you all with the nine of pills and the devil card ancestor, or some of y'all could just be obsessing over your, you could be in this energy where you're obsessing over being stable, having a lifestyle that you want, you know, or being addicted to working towards the lifestyle that you want. For some of you, y'all could be throwing yourself back into work more or working hard. Some of y'all already be in this proactive energy where you're working hard but for some of y'all you're obsessing over the nine of pentacles yourself is obsessing over your business thriving obsessing over the reason waiting um it's almost like when you order something online and you sit by the window waiting for it to come you you watching every move it's almost like watching them boiling water boil if you ever heard that saying it's not going boiling if you keep looking at it so some of y'all could be obsessed and watching your money watching your finances um some of y'all could be obsessed with how quick something is progressing you watching something that much is making you lose it's killing your passion for some of y'all with the knight of wands in reverse it's killing your passion it's killing you with the temperance here is making you lose sight of why you started it to begin with so that's gonna resonate for some of y'all in a couple in a different ways so take what resonates so this is what i'm seeing for your current finances as far as the, uh, as a whole in general power one now we're going to go in and see what can you expect for your current finances what what advice can you give power one for the current finances answer divine god we got the tower card so you're going to get some money unexpectedly or you're going to get a job unexpectedly or you're going to come into some type of something unexpected where it's going to give you money some of you you may um you know what the tower card is but um you're going to unexpectedly find a new way to make money for some of y'all someone's gonna come to to come and coming towards y'all unexpectedly with the tower card you won't see it coming uh some of y'all you got some of y'all could have literally lost your job or unexpected change that you weren't um expecting okay yeah so we got the seven of swords but it did come out in reverse so some of y'all you are going to get a job offer or you're going to get something and and or some of y'all i don't know i'm getting this energy this is going to resonate for uh, a small portion of y'all 
if it, it, it could be for a job or it could be for something like that but the tower card and the seven of swords coming out of reverse there's going to be something that comes in unexpectedly where you may feel like you're not able to trust it but you're going to be able to trust it because the seven of swords and upper i could talk about things being sneaky lies enemy scheming you know trickery deceit you know spying you know uh doing things with with lack of care a lack of thinking of your actions or consequences but this can also uh some of y'all can also be meaning so i'm getting two different messages for some of y'all there's going to be something that comes in and it's going to come in unexpectedly it could be a job offer it could be i don't know it could be something where it's going to come in unexpectedly and you're not going to trust it because you could be thinking that it's fake uh, some of y'all don't know why i heard this but this is gonna resonate for like a few portions i'm getting where there could be somebody that does videos or somebody's gonna be walking around i don't know why i just thought of that video where somebody's walking around and they may ask you do you want to buy this or or do that and then in exchange you get money like for instance like i don't know if you've ever seen them videos some of y'all it could be oh some of y'all i'm getting a lottery too for some of y'all, I'm getting so many messages. So, so there's going to be something that's going to come in. And it's, we got the full card in reverse. That's going to be that's it's gonna be something okay so there's gonna be something that come in for some of you guys you're not gonna be trusted for some of y'all y'all may win a small sum of money from the lottery you may not be expecting it you may not think it's true you may not think it's real so if you do win don't just not do anything with it make sure you follow the steps for some of y'all could just be this energy where some money may come in unexpectedly or something may come in unexpectedly and you may not trust it. it could be an offer to make more money um i don't know what it exactly is but it's gonna be something where you don't necessarily trust it because you go feel like it's too good to be true. Some of y'all are going back to that thing where somebody could be walking around and they say, hey, would you like to buy my mystery this for a dollar? Or would you like to do this for something like that? And then you end up winning. Some of y'all, y'all could unexpectedly end up winning something. You may think it's not true. You may think it's fake and it's actually true. So that's going to resonate with some of y'all. For some of y'all with the tower card and the seven of swords, some of y'all, y'all may want to make a, 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 a some of y'all may want to make a, y'all y'all may make a hasty decision really quickly um an unexpected decision something may come up unexpectedly and you may make a decision and the decision that you're going to make you may feel like you made the wrong decision but you actually made the right decision so that's gonna resonate for some of y'all some of y'all there could be something where it's going to come in unexpectedly you're not going to trust it because you're going to feel it's too good to be true or you're going to feel like what's the catch to it and then for some of y'all it's going to be this energy where you can make a hasty decision unexpectedly or and this this decision that you made is actually going to work out in your favor with the seven of swords in reverse We got the sun card in reverse. Yeah, so some of y'all, whatever this is that you, you tell me, with the sun card in reverse, yeah, this is this came out after the seven of swords in reverse. So, yeah, some of y'all are not going to be, for the ones where something's going to come in, and this is going to, so this is what's coming in for your current finances. For some of y'all, there's going to be something that come in unexpectedly. Y'all may, um, I'm trying to, okay i'm gonna throw that different message because it's not i can't make it resonate in general for everyone because i've seen so many messages so for the small group of y'all for next thing your are finance or there may be a job opportunity maybe something that come in you could win something and you may not feel like you may feel like it's fake or you may not feel like it's real somebody can even offer you pos a, 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 a position for a, a and you may feel like the position that you're offering is way too it's just energy where you could be used to making something a certain way somebody could offer you a job offer like say you make like 15 an hour you be like, oh, it's my offer. You like, hey, this position start at twenty two dollars, and you, um, yeah, especially with the sun car, um, the sun car with the tower car and the sun car in reverse. That could, the sun, the tower is in upright, but the sun in reverse that can also be meaning expected things to happen bad. But the tower car expecting expecting of people expecting things to go bad without even being pessimistic. That's what I'm getting. So some of y'all, yeah, with the ten of wands being pessimistic um stressed out being burdensome losing focus losing sight of something so for some of y'all that may be the case from next in your career in finances y'all may get a new job opportunity they may offer you a position you may feel like oh or or there may be a position that open up it don't even have to be a position that somebody offer you it could just be something that pops up and you um and you know you're able to apply for it, but you may be afraid to apply or Whatever the case may be, due to you not feeling like you're going to get something, some of y'all could be even in the loan. I don't know. I'm getting in. so y'all. This could resonate for y'all, however it resonates. So this is what I'm seeing next for your current finances for that portion of y'all. For the other portion of y'all, the tower card, you're gonna have to make a quick decision or a hasty decision or something like that unexpectedly. And you're, but the sun card, you may feel like 
you're going to make the wrong decision or the seven of swords you may feel like you're going to make the wrong decision or you're going to feel like i don't know it's gonna be the something y'all see even a decision or something that's going to happen unexpectedly it's going to work out in your favor so for some of y'all next in your career finances there's going to be something that work out in your favor and you're going to think that it's not but it actually is going to go through with the seven of swords in reverse it's actually going to go through for some of y'all some of y'all it could be something where you could be be a little pessimistic towards something thinking something too good to be true when it comes in you could possibly miss out on it if you're not open to it so this is what i'm seeing um let me get some more messages because I want to leave y'all with just this. We got the high priestess. So, yeah, use your intuition. Some of y'all are going to be needing to use your intuition on something. There could be, some, again, I'm getting that. Some of y'all can win a lottery. Some of y'all, there could just be an unexpected opportunity that comes in and you may feel like it's fake. And, and with a sun card, you being pessimistic, not believing it, not believing in your intuition could cause you to miss out on it. Or especially with the Ten of Wands, like some of y'all, y'all could just glare over like, man, that stuff don't be true. You know, or, or, or glare over. It's like pushing something or like, I don't know. It's this energy where y'all may be like, yeah, or something like that. So sorry if this is all over the place. Okay, I'm not gonna take these cards. They they flip over, but I am gonna take the. We got the judgment here. We also got the king of swords. So there's gonna yeah. So you're gonna need to be stern about a decision. Okay, so this goes in for some of y'all with the judgment card and the high priestess and the king of swords. Some of y'all know y'all need to make a certain decision that y'all need to make. Like some of y'all know that some of y'all, if you want a better job and you've been staying at a job and you know you can work at a better job that makes more money, you already know that you need to be putting this stuff in action. So some of y'all, y'all know what y'all need to do, but some of y'all are procrastinating. Like y'all need to actually do it. Some of y'all need to, if you know you need more money or finances, ancestors are buying y'all saying that you need to put more overtime in. You need to invest your money more. Um, also, they're basically saying that as far as your career uh, and finances, you're going to be unexpected opportunity that come up for you. That's going to be presenting a lot of good offers to you. You're gonna and you're gonna be feeling like it's pessimistic because you're used to certain things not going in your favor, or you're gonna feel like it's not going to go in your favor. You're saying that you need to not be pessimistic. Also, with the judgment card and the high priest and the king of sword, there is a decision that you know already that you need to make. Um, you know you need to look at it from a logical standpoint. Or whatever the case may be with the king of swords you need to take action on it whatever this is you need to take action on it again this is a decision that some of y'all know y'all need to make and they're saying that some of y'all this is a decision that you want to make and you may be fearful of making that decision because you may not feel like it's going to go out in your favor with the sun card here you'd be thinking of it in a negative aspect and it's actually going to go towards your favor with the seven of swords in reverse so that's for a few of y'all so i really feel like some of y'all really needed to hear that so if you think about leaving a job to go to another if it's if it's two opportunities yes um that's gonna resonate for some of y'all in some kind of way so this is your career finance reading I am going to give you a couple more cards so y'all can, you know, know more. But this is what I'm seeing. We got Antisocial Gamer. So some of you guys, if you're somebody that's a gamer or you like to stream or you like to do certain stuff like that, you need to put yourself out there. You need to uh, link up more with other gamers, you know, start your own, own, own live form or something like that. We got loud voices. So some of y'all, you need to, if you like to use your voice, or you like to speak on certain things, they're saying use your voice more for some of y'all. So for some of y'all, for your current finances, for people that like to like to, like to play games or like to stream, they're saying stream more. You know, if, you, if you're if you anti-social, come from behind the scenes, put yourself out the more. Let the world hear you. Let the world see who you are. Make your presence known for some of y'all. We got animal lover, a giver, good PR. Some of you guys, answers of Ravine are saying that you somebody that really likes animals or you somebody that really loves animals is something that you're supposed to be doing as far as some of y'all when it comes to animals. That's for a few. If you know you don't have a passion for animals like that, then it's not for you. That's just for a small portion. Answers of God, Holy Spirit. What's going on with my power one day career and their finances? Okay, so some of you guys, we got Sugar Baby OnlyFans Sugar. So some of you guys, um, if you have been thinking about doing the OnlyFans or something like that, I'm getting that it will be successful for some of y'all. Not everyone wants to do OnlyFans, but for the ones that is that do, 
you will make a lot of money from it. You will make profit from it. Some of y'all I'm getting that through could even be somebody that is older than you. Or it don't have to be older than you. It could just be somebody that has more money than you. And they can want to spend money on you. You know, a sugar mom or a sugar, a sugar dad. They can want to spend money on you. So some of y'all, this is, again, everybody live their lifestyle different. For some of y'all, you want to do an OnlyFans or something like that. I'm getting, okay, so I'm going to throw out messages. Y'all take a resonate. This is what's coming in y'all career finances, okay? If it don't resonate with you, please leave it. Some of y'all, y'all like to stream or y'all like to play games. They're saying put yourself out there more. Some of y'all, you're anti-social, but you somebody that, you have a lot of good things that you speak on or you have a lot of good get knowledge with a lot of things and they're saying put yourself out there more some of y'all if you do want to do only fans you're gonna be somebody that wants to wants to you're gonna have a prominent customer that's gonna be older than you that could want to spend money on you that could want to spend money on whatever you're doing for some of y'all as far as your only fans some of y'all you may start only fans or if you've been thinking about only fans this is for people that have been wanting to do it or that's already doing it if you're really doing only fans there is somebody that's going to be a prominent customer they're going to want to spend money on your service prominently for some of y'all this is somebody that's gonna be wants you to be their sugar baby um for some of y'all there could just be somebody that wants to spend money on you somebody that wants to shower you down with gifts for, you know for your time some of y'all we got yeah so we got user freeloader so yeah for some of y'all i'm getting this energy where somebody we got user freeloader so and we got um sugar baby only fans sugar yeah. Um, so for some of y'all, there could be somebody that, we, again, wants to spend money for your time, wants to spend money for your presence or something like that. This person, it basically, they don't mind you using them or some kind of way. They want to, it's exchange, exchange. That's what I'm hearing, exchange. Um, we got no the teeth, but after Luke played them. So for some of y'all... Again, some of y'all, it's a decision that you know you need to make. This is come confirming it. Like, if you know you need to make a certain decision that's going to push you. Some of y'all, it's a decision that you need to make that's going to open up more doors to you or going to push you. Some of y'all, that's different. That's going to resonate differently. Some of y'all, it could be two jobs. Some of y'all may be needing to let go of one thing to gain another thing. But it's going to push you further in your career. Some of y'all are going to know how that resonates between your hybrid dude. Um, for some of y'all, this is not going to resonate for everyone. This is not going to resonate with everyone. But a few of you guys, we did get the situation shift card out. For some of y'all, uh, y'all, mm, should I say it? Okay, so for some of y'all, what I'm getting with the F with buddy, for some of y'all, y'all may end up messing around with somebody that's in a higher position than you that may be able to put you in a better position. That's just for a couple of y'all. That's going to resonate for a couple of y'all because I don't know how else that will come out. We also got clean girl guy aesthetic keeping up with trends. So some of you guys are you somebody that keeps up with trends. You're very trendy. Some of y'all very trendy. You need to put yourself out there more. You need to put yourself your talents or your creativity out there. Some of y'all you are like a literally a trendsetter. You are like you people can look at you as a trendsetter. You're very trendy. You somebody that can set trends. There's so this this is again this is for y'all career and finance. This is gonna resonate for y'all in different ways. We got will date your ex or lover. Or sneaky. I don't know why they came out of your current finances, and I really don't. Some of y'all, we got. Mm, oh wow, I might even go. I might even go say that. Well, you know why I am because we we keep it we keep it one hundred percent on here. We keep it all clear on here, don't we? Okay, so um, this is gonna resonate for some of y'all. This is coming up in your career finances. Don't ask me how this is gonna. This not even resonate for all y'all. Some of y'all this resonate for a couple of y'all. Some of y'all, we got the will date your ex will be sneaky. Um, we got user freeloader here. So some of you guys, this is gonna resonate for a couple of y'all. There could be somebody that you I don't I don't know how this is gonna resonate. I don't know how this is gonna resonate with y'all. Some of y'all, y'all may part of your career of financing for some of y'all is y'all may end up meeting somebody that's able to open up some door for you. Or something like that. Some of y'all, there could be somebody that wants to spend money on you. As far as they making you their sugar baby and they want to spend money on you. Some of y'all, it could just be this energy where... And this is going to resonate for the ones in this category. Like, okay? If you're somebody that has an OnlyFans or you've been thinking about it. Or if you're somebody that ends up... this, oh, I hate when these messages come like this, bro. Okay, so look. We having a glow. See? Okay. Pile one, listen up. We we got having the globe going through a secure upgrade in life. So part of y'all, I don't care who you are, what 
spectrum you fall on in this reading power one you're going to have some type of globe you're going to have some type of money that's going to be bringing that you're going to you're going to have your life is going to be looking good i'm hearing life's good by future so if you have been worried about how your life is going to be in the future or how it's going to be in the next couple months you're going to be having going through a whole 360 some of y'all about to go through a whole 360 y'all about to have an unexpected opportunity that comes in for some of y'all for some of y'all you're about to go work hard for something that work hard for more money financing and investing and it's going to bring some type of form of opportunity that's going to come in in that way that's at least what the terrorist said for some of y'all some of y'all gonna be doing something that's going to bring some money in now this message i'm picking up is going to resonate differently for y'all differently so for some of y'all we got the user free loader here and we also got will date your ex or lover so some of you guys you may end up dating somebody or, or meeting somebody that has a lot of finances and it only you don't even have to be their sugar baby some of y'all scratch that if you some of y'all that may be the case where somebody wants you to be their sugar baby for some of y'all there could just be this case where y'all could meet somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you they want to talk to you they're gonna have a lot of things going for themselves and there could be somebody around you that wants to date them because of what they has with their free with their with the user or freeloader there could be somebody around you that wants to date the person that you're dating or going to date could do to them having certain stuff so this person may notice that they're buying you stuff. They may notice that they're giving you things. And they want a piece of that lifestyle too. Some of y'all, this could be a friend. This could be somebody that's close to that no. Uh, it don't even have to be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be anybody that's close around your promixity that can see who you're dating and see what they're giving to you. Some of y'all, it could be the simple fact that you're going to start doing something that's going to bring in some type of finance is going to bring you have some type of it's going to make you have some type of secure upgrade life is going to be good you're not going to be worried about money where it's coming from you're not going to be worrying about how much your bills going to be cost you already know everything's going to be really taken care of you're going to be living really comfortably there could be somebody that wants to freeload off of you or just going to be somebody that wants to use you they're going to want to come in they're going to want to be around you due to what you have so this is what i'm seeing so this is what's coming in for your career finances uh, again, regardless of whatever, I don't care who you are, power one, or where you at the power one, on the spectrum, regardless of any of it, there's going to be somebody around you that either sees somebody giving you something. Some of y'all could be seeing, somebody could be seeing that you're getting opportunities from a specific source, and they could want to get in on that to use whatever it is that you're coming. Some of y'all could be somebody want to be around you because of the things that you're about to start having. Some of y'all, somebody's going to want the person that, that's giving you the things that you have. So, it's going to resonate to y'all differently. Some of y'all, that could be what the tower card is as well. That Y'all could unexpectedly... Some of y'all go have some type of secure upgrade in your life and y'all going to unexpectedly find out that somebody around you is trying to take from you, trying to get it, I don't know, somehow, some way. So keep that in mind. But this is what's coming in your career finance next time. Peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bolder. Sorry, it was all over the place. Hello, welcome to my channel. So forget to pout till we find this reading resident with you. Please hit the like button. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. If you are new, thank you so much for joining. Commenting, liking, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you're returning to subscribing, welcome back, loves. I already said you showed the cards and shuffled over the decks. So we're going to hop right into it. If you are inquiring about personal readings, everything is listed down below in the description box. Already stage over the cards, and next we're gonna hop right into it. What is coming in for your career and finances, power two? What's coming in for your career and finances? So, for some of y'all, I always take the first two cards off of my decks, and I have amusing, very impressionable, and I have model. So, for some of y'all, I'm getting multiple messages for that. Some of y'all, you are meant to be a model, you are meant to be seen, you are meant to be showcased. Some of y'all are very tall, some of y'all are very wide. Not everyone's the same size, not everyone's the same shape, not everyone's the same, you know, at intensity either. So regardless of who you are, you are meant to be a model. I don't care if you're supposed to be a plus size model, a petite model. I don't know. Some of y'all have attributes that you will be able to use to be a model. You can have a certain look. Some of y'all, you could be very non-conventional. You could have a different type of style, very unique. And it's meant to be seen by some of y'all. It could be as far as you being different. Something about you is very unique. Something about you is different that stands out to where a lot of people could like your features or a lot of people can like certain things about you where it you could be it could be used as you being a model some of y'all get a social media presence so some of y'all you are somebody that has the social media presence to be a social media or influencer for some of y'all i'm getting not for everyone but for a couple of y'all i'm getting that you could be an instagram model some of y'all could be an influencer somebody on youtube some of y'all could even do certain stuff where you'll be able to model for other companies so there's something that you're supposed to be doing online for a few of you some of y'all supposed to be in the model industry 
some of y'all are supposed to be as far as being an instagram model collabing with other people somehow some way you some of y'all are meant to be put in the spotlight and that's part of your career finance for some of y'all we have been musing and very impressionable so for some of y'all on the other hand you are somebody that's very impressionable you leave really good impressions on people so i'm getting that part of your career finances are going to come in the form of the way you present yourself to people some of y'all y'all already present yourself really well to people and it makes them want to work with you makes them want to collaborate with you but you i'm getting that there's going to be certain opportunities that's going to come a point in your life or there's going to be certain things that come towards you and you leaving a really good impression on them is going to make them choose you or it could, I don't care if it's an interview y'all are a very impressionable person so answers if I got want y'all to play on that a little bit more when it comes to your career finances um play on your your your, your uniqueness um when it comes to getting opportunities and you want be very impressionable make sure you leave a good impression on people make sure you present yourself very well present yourself how you want people to perceive perceive you um, ancestors of Ankai, Holy Spirit saying if, or forming your current finances that you could be, if you are somebody that's in the model industry or you somebody that wants to be a model, you being very impressionable and you being yourself and you being authentic and unique is what's going to set you apart from everybody else. For the ones that's not doing modeling or that's not something that you want to do, you being very impressionable and you um, presenting yourself a certain way to the world is what's going to bring you your income, what's going to bring you certain things or whether it's a nine to five, whether it's online, whether it's from other people, that's what's going to bring you your income. That's what's going to bring you opportunities in your career finances. So further ado, we're going to get into it. Answer my God, Holy Spirit. What can my pile to expect when it comes to their career and finances? So some of you guys, you could be somebody that's in the military, or for some of y'all, that's something that y'all want to do. Some of y'all, y'all can want to go to the military or something like that, and that's going to bring you some type of income. That's going to bring you some of the things that you want. Um, for some of y'all, we got out of the country, out of the state. So some of y'all, y'all may need to move to find better opportunities. I don't know about y'all, but if y'all ever heard people moving into certain places, like I guess Las Vegas, LA, um, I don't know, um, I don't know. I guess popular ATL, popular places where people will go to. I know people will go to. I know LA is known for people going out there specifically for stuff like that. So some of y'all may need to move out of state. Order like if you somebody that wants a bigger bag or you want certain things, you want to be in the industry or it's for, you know or you want to do certain like stuff to get your foot in the door with bigger owners, bigger pe people that have more resources than you. You may need to move out of state. Some of y'all, you moving out of state, you need to be very impressionable. You need to make sure that you're doing certain stuff. Being yourself is making you stand out. You know, if you, some of y'all, also with the model car, it doesn't even have to. Some of y'all could be a model, or some of y'all could be be very innovative, and you made some you or something like that, and you may want to model something for some, for somebody. I'm sorry, it's like you could have a some of y'all you could be somebody that could be the model or somebody that makes something for the model to make so whatever end that you're on some of y'all y'all can make clothes some of y'all it don't have to be clothes you could just be somebody that's really good at innovative you're really good at coming up with ways to make money you come up with manufacturing ideas some of y'all what i'm hearing when people are coming up with certain things or ideas you're supposed to be that kind of person that's in the room to give them an idea i don't know what the, what they are called when it's like that group of table everybody at a, some of y'all yeah i'm getting with like i'm getting like a group of people sitting at a table and they're trying to come up with something and it's one person throwing out ideas everybody throwing out ideas so if there's something like that that you're supposed to be doing y'all supposed to be sitting at a group of table with people that come up with ideas on how to make certain things better like for instance taco bell when taco bell decided to come out with a new drink or something like that there's people at the table are saying well, what's gonna be the next taco bell drink you know some of y'all have really innovative ideas and y'all need to play on that some of y'all have really very, very impressionable things that y'all need to use and to play on that some of y'all may need to move out of state to surround yourself around more opportunities more career fields that's in your if you want somebody that want to be in the industry like hollywood or la or something like that would be good for you or atl move make sure y'all get putting yourself out there more so that's gonna resonate for a couple of y'all We have, okay, yeah, we have a realization epiphany moment. This wasn't even supposed to be in this deck. So for some of y'all, you're going to have a realization or epiphany moment about something that's going to bring you money. So for some of y'all, you'll be getting ideas or creative ideas that come in your head. Them are coming in your head for you to do my epiphany. So if you ever got something like, oh, I should be this. 
or I, should, I could do this or I should be that or I should go this way or I should do that. That is an idea of another opportunity or another way to make money. I, for instance, mm, you come up with a manner, you come up with an idea that would be cool to bring, like a new toy that would be cool to make everybody happy or whatever. A new toy or something like that for kids. A new Barbie doll or something like that. A new style. That's not in your head for a reason. That's there for you to actually draw out the sketch uh figure out how to make that step go to the next step as far as getting the manufactured then boom make sure you put it out there some of y'all y'all have certain ideas in your mind and they're coming to your mind because those are certain things that you're supposed to be doing or those are certain ways for you to make opportunities some of y'all are letting it sit there you are very impressionable you're very skilled at what you're supposed to do they're saying put yourself out there more pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the things that you think and some of y'all y'all have a realization or something that you can do to make money Okay, we have my own business. Hey, drama. So some of you guys, um, another form of you, some of y'all, you and I be, I'm getting like Lori Harvey. I'm also getting like India, I'm thinking in India Royale. Regardless whether you're a masculine or a feminine, it doesn't matter. For some of you guys, another thing is play on your innocence. It's something about y'all need to play on your innocence. Some of y'all, you can, I don't know why I'm getting that. Play on your innocence for some of y'all. We also got hate drama, my own business. So some of y'all, by you minding your own business, by you doing what you doing and you staying out the way for some of y'all, that is what's going to make you mysterious. So some of you all, you staying out the bit, out the way, you not giving your opinion on everything, you not putting, I'm getting, it's almost like put yourself out there, but don't put a lot of things out there. Like for instance, if you start a YouTube channel or something, don't do a Q&A, wait to do a Q&A. Put yourself, show the world who you are, then go back. It's something like that. So this is ways for you to make money for some of y'all. This is what's coming in for your career, your finances. You know, this is certain advice that y'all may need to hear for some of y'all. But it's almost like playing your mysterious. It's almost like some of y'all, when you get to a point of being in the spotlight or something like that, they're wanting you to stay out of the drama. Don't give your two cents on people. Like if you see drama or something like that, don't give y'all two cents. For some of y'all, you could be somebody where you could be good on commentary. You could be good on making comments on other people. Some of y'all... What I'm getting is some of y'all could be the kind of person where you don't be in drama, but you like to speak on a drama. Some of y'all be like a Wendy Williams, like a talk host. Some of y'all are meant to be a talk host or y'all meant to be a, a commenter where you could go over over reviews or over full reviews or on online or you go over reviews of like different TV shows and talk about it or even talk podcasts or even talk about certain things that you learn for some of y'all. So this is what I'm getting. We also got anti-social gamers. This came out of um power one. Some some messages may be in power one for y'all power two, but um or power one some some power ones could be over here. Hey hey, um we got anti-social. So some of y'all you are somebody that's anti-social. You somebody that has a lot of gifts, but you have a lot of anxiety to show in the world. I'm letting you know that you somebody that's very impressionable. People like like you more than you think they like you. Um, I'm also with the model card. Y'all could be an inspiration to other people. Some of y'all, you supposed to, you are meant to create your own path where you're meant to do something that's inspiring other people. So some of y'all, it's some of y'all is where you are the model. You are the person that's going to be modeling something for other people, and other people are going to be using you as inspiration. It don't have to be oh, I like y'all being literally a model. It could just be something where it's like. I don't know. Some of y'all, we got privilege and spoiled, but it came out in reverse. So some of y'all, you don't come from much. Some of y'all, you are going to, man, I'm getting rats to riches. I'm getting like that storyline where some of y'all don't come from much, but you're going to be doing something very impressionable in your lifetime. Whatever that is, is going to, people are going to view you as a model or view you as inspiration. Your name is going to ring bells in certain rooms that you never even been in. So there's a lot of things that's coming to y'all for your future. I don't know who you are, power to what you got going on, but this may resonate we got versatile tattoos free spirited if you somebody that has tattoos or you somebody that's very versatile when it comes to your aesthetic or your clothing you can dress really well they're saying put yourself out there we got a boss some of y'all you are meant to be your own boss for some of y'all for some of y'all you are meant to people you are meant to break down barriers like i don't know i'm like you know how like when nikki came in the game she broke down certain barriers you know you, you know that story everybody be saying that's what i'm getting for some of y'all i'm getting this energy where it's like you are meant to break down certain walls or barriers say there's there's something where everybody wearing the color orange now everybody want the color blue because of you you come in you know so shit like that that's just an example you are meant to break down certain barriers you are meant to be placed in certain rooms where it's not conventional where you're going to open up doors for other people like for instance how rihanna when she came on with finney beauty she made a lot of people models instead of victoria's secret breaking out certain doors or something like that that is what y'all are meant to do for some of y'all 
see we got virgin 18 youthful so some of y'all told y'all to play on y'all innocence then we got virgin into you know, some of y'all y'all could be virgins you know i don't know how that resonates for some of y'all some of y'all it could be this innocence about you for some of y'all some of y'all don't even have to be a, some of y'all you're older and you somebody that looks very i'm getting a multiple message or some of y'all you look very young and people always say oh you look young you look young some of y'all are meant to probably act in movies or put yourself on certain things that put you in positions to act or play a, a role of a younger person for some of y'all some of y'all you could be very clueless or you could come off this or some of y'all are meant to play a role of being very clueless, ditzy. That's for a couple of y'all. Or just very naive, gullible, don't know much. Some of y'all look very youthful and y'all able to play certain roles, character roles. So some of y'all, if you ever hear, oh, you look young, you look young like you're a kid or something like that. It's because you're meant to play in certain movies. You know, you're meant to do certain stuff like that. Some of y'all that have children that have kids, it's not resonate for everyone. But some of y'all, you can have really, yo, your your child or whoever your kid is could be somebody that's really talented, very gifted. Somebody that's able to make people laugh easily. You know, they they love your child's personality, characteristics, how you raise them. Some of y'all, that's meant to open up some type of a doorway for some of y'all, you know. So, let's go resonate with some of y'all differently. Let me get one more card, please. We got more than one person. Yeah, for some of you guys, we got more than one person. So some of y'all, it's going to be a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people, uh, more than one person could be looking at your guests. More than one person is going to be looking at you. Some of y'all, there's going to be an energy where you're going to have multiple jobs looking at you, multiple job offers looking at you. Some of y'all, you're going to have offers where it comes from different places, from different resources that's looking at you. So you're going to be, you're going to be sought after. Your, whatever you're doing for work or career or finance is going to be sought after for a lot of people. So some of y'all, this is just some advice for some of y'all on what y'all, some of y'all may be meant to be able to do, or some of y'all have a lot of gifts and creativity. Y'all may need to hear that. So I hope that helps. We're gonna get in and hop in. Um, we have the hangman reverse. Hangman reverse can also be somebody stuck on a certain ideology, somebody that's stuck on viewing things in a certain perspective. Because the hangman is somebody that's open to new perspectives, somebody that's stagnant, they ponder on things. They also think about how to self-improve certain things, certain goals. And we also got the page of wands here. Page of wands is somebody that's very fun, very fearless, somebody that's confident, optimistic, somebody that's extroverted, somebody that put themselves out there, very driven, you know, very fun to be around. You know, somebody that usually has a lot of good news going on or somebody that, that gives that brightens up days give good news so the page of wants is really like that that's that spark you know with the hangman in reverse for some of you it could be some of y'all there could be a certain old belief or old perspective that's keeping you from i don't know for some of y'all could be, i don't know what this is some of y'all could be an old belief or an old perspective that is keeping you from opening up opportunities some of y'all could be some of y'all could be thinking that there's not gonna resonate for everyone but some of y'all with the page of wands card and the, the hangman some of y'all have an old belief of thinking that work or something is supposed to be hard now that's just for a few some of y'all it could be very some of y'all could be very hard on yourselves where you feel like only way you can make some of y'all are meant to make money by having fun, by enjoying yourselves with this page of wands and this hangman. Some of y'all, you are being hard on yourself. You are not opening up, opening up your mind to new perspectives or new outcomes or new opportunities. Some of y'all can also be insanity, doing something multiple times, expecting a different result and nothing comes in from it. Some of y'all, you are meant to switch things up, be more versatile. Some of y'all are meant to make something more fun, whatever you're doing, or put your more put your more artistic, put your passion into something more. To some of y'all need to love something down more. Like if you have a career that you want or something that you want to do, and you need to be a you need to be yeah, but we also got amusing here. So some of y'all, you are supposed to be doing something that caused you to come up with ideas. Some of y'all are, are too free spirited to be put in the box. Some of y'all are trying to force yourselves into a box and you're too free spirited. You're too cool for that. Is what I'm getting. You're too cool for that, pal too. With this hangman and, and reversing this page of wands. So take a resonate, leave what doesn't. But the page of wands, I'm also seeing that she's smoking a cigarette or something like that. So some of y'all, I just not resonate for everyone, but some of y'all, your finances could also go towards addictions that's keeping you from 
It don't have to be smoking. Some of you, you could be spending your money on certain addictions. It could be gambling. It could be overeating. Some of y'all are needing to save more or cut back on spending of any addiction that you have. Cut back on spending on it to save more money because though is though that is part of resources as well. And that's for a few of y'all. For a couple of y'all, I'm just getting this energy where y'all can have an old way of believing things. Your old way of thinking, your old pattern that you're thinking is outdated. You need it's outdated for a reason. Some of y'all needed to. Some of y'all needed to incorporate more fun into your routine, your 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 daily lives. Putting yourselves out of y'all need to. Some of y'all have a old way of thinking that you can't put yourself out of a box to make more for yourself, or you thinking that you have to be a certain way to to make something for yourself. So that's gonna resonate for a couple of y'all. Of course, that's not everybody, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We got the Six of Swords. I, I'm going to pay attention to this one first. We got the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords in the upright talks about relocation, new direction, release, stability, recovering, you know, getting over obstacles that's in the way. It could also mean moving towards common waters, you know, leaving certain things behind that was hindering you. With this out in reverse for some of y'all, Six of Swords, that means pondering, you know. It also could mean on not leaving certain things behind. Uh, some of y'all, there is an old perspective that you are trying to, you are trying, okay, so this is going to resonate for some of y'all differently. Take what resonate because this is how I'm helping y'all within y'all career finances because this is what Ancestors of Divine God wants you to hear. Some of y'all, with the hangman reverse, page of wands, some of y'all, there could be a new opportunity that comes in. It could be a new idea that comes in. It don't even have to be an opportunity. It could be as far as an idea, a thought, or something like that. So, so I'm getting a different message. I'm going to throw what resonates. For some of y'all, you could be trying to, you could have a, a old way of thinking about something. It could be a career, a job. It could be anything. Some of y'all, it could be you thinking that some of y'all, you can, you, if I'm going to throw, okay, I'm going to throw a different message. I'll take what resonates. I'm going to throw out a different message. Some of y'all, there is an old way of thinking that you are thinking that's causing you to not, it's, it's hindering you in some kind of way. Well, just hang in reverse. That can be y'all not being open to new perspectives. Some of y'all, if you somebody that been at a job, you not being open to new jobs is what's keeping you stuck from growing. That's just an example. Some of y'all, that is the case. But for a few of y'all, that's an example. You staying at a job for years, instead of opening up yourself to other opportunities, you staying at that one job, having that one perspective of, oh, I'm dedicated to my job. I'm seniority or I'm staying here is what's keeping you from not keeping you from losing out on other passions other things that can make you more fulfilled that can bring you and page one can also mean good news so some of y'all could be oh some of y'all could be close off to certain things that can actually be very prosperous for y'all we got the six of swords in reverse so that can be that can also mean and not wanting to let go of certain stuff some of y'all are not wanting to let go of certain stuff to get to gain more you have to let go of certain things in order to gain more some of y'all may need to let go of a job to gain more of a fun, happy job. A job that makes you feel more happy, make you feel more, um, they give you the finances that you want. Or make you feel good inside. Some of y'all could be, as far as you thinking that you can't make money by having fun, by enjoying yourself. You thinking you can only make money by suffering, by doing something that you don't want to do. Or having to do something that's very strict, you know. Very not, something that's very conventional. Some of y'all could also be, some of y'all could be thinking that the only way you can make money is by going to school. Some of y'all, y'all are meant to make money as far as being an entrepreneur. And y'all keep trying to bring 3D into, well, some of y'all are trying to bring 3D stuff where it's not supposed to be brought, if that makes sense. Some of y'all, you could be trying to stay at a job and you could try to level up a certain career and you're meant to be an entrepreneur. With this page of wands, you're meant to do something fun. You're somebody that's not meant to be placed in a box. You have a lot of creative ideas. You have a lot of goals. But you keeping yourself in this belief of, oh, I can only make money by going to school or I can only make money by doing this or doing that. Or I have to stay, I have to be a doctor because everybody else is in my family. Or something like that for some of y'all. It's keeping you from from not being your truest fulfilled self when it comes to your current finances and you are trying to bring that into the present some of y'all could just be the same set some of y'all it's not correct near everyone but some of y'all it could be as far as you having new opportunities that come to you but you acting a certain way or you doing certain certain things a certain way 
and trying to bring that into whatever this new environment is is, is hindering you it could be a way of thinking it could be a, a, a character flaw i don't know it could be all of that some of y'all are very impressionable so i don't think it's a character flaw because y'all leave really good impressions on people some of y'all can even be this energy where you can it could be this energy where y'all feel like y'all have to act a certain way to get to where, where, where you want some of y'all could just be this energy where you could be dimming your light and you're not meant to dim your light and you're dimming your light and like for instance say you had a job and you know you're somebody that's very skilled you know you're very good at something you could be dimming your own light by not showcasing that trying to some of y'all i'm also getting that being proactive some of y'all you are trying to wait for things to happen for you instead of going after it for a few of y'all or waiting or waiting for it to come some of y'all you could think about things but don't execute it for some of y'all and y'all need to execute it more y'all need y'all need to execute it more some of y'all you have these great ideas and you come up with it and then it's like but you don't follow through we also got the knight of wands here the knight of wands talks about pushing forward it talks about being guarded but it also talks about being persistent after setbacks getting back up after you fall you know you can also talk about your energy being drained it's it's it's, it's talk about you being beat up being tired so some of y'all the nine of wands i could sometimes I look at the nine of wands as an insanity sometimes because it is somebody that could be that could be beat up from doing something but they're still keep going you know you ever seen people where they fight and they're getting their ass with but they still keep fighting knowing that they can't win that's kind of how i look at this nine of wands sometimes with the six of swords are reversed and it's nine of wands some of y'all are trying to do something you're trying to take something going into something else some of y'all could be people some of y'all could be people. It could be people that you are trying to take with you that's not meant to go with you. That's bring, that's keeping you stuck. That's keeping you held back with this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Cups. Some of y'all, you could be somebody where you're very giving. You give a lot of your resources away. You need to be stingy for once or not give so much of away because you're giving it away. It's keeping you stuck. So some of y'all, it's something like that. It's not something really big, but it's something where it's something... It can also be y'all minimizing yourself, minimizing what you can do. Knowing you can do more, but doing less or doing just enough to get you by when you could be doing more. So that's what I'm seeing for y'all current finances. So let's talk about putting yourself on the line more. You're very impressionable. You are meant to be an inspiration to other people. You are meant to put yourself out there. We got the two of pentacles right here at the bottom. Two of pentacles talk about financial stress. I mean, but it also can talk, it can talk about profit and loss. Some of y'all could be afraid of investing in something because you're afraid of losing. Some of y'all it takes money to make it make it may, it takes money to make money. You gotta spend some to make some. So as far as you investing, some of y'all could be you need to save more. Stop giving your and this crazy that the ten the pent two of pentacles come out right after the queen of cups after I said. So some of y'all you could be giving your resources away to other people with this two of pentacles juggling it your know, finance is going this way and that way and you need to get a more grip over it. start giving your finance out or start spending your money on certain things that you know you need to you more you could be investing so it's something like that some of y'all could be every time a new source of income come you could do the same thing with the source of income not saving it you can get a bigger bag and then the bigger bag that you get it still seems like a smaller bag because you're not you you just yeah something like that so table resident Levo doesn't, but for some of y'all, I'm getting that there is people that just can't come with you that you're trying to take with the six of swords. Um, this is not gonna resonate for everyone, but I'm gonna throw this out here. We got the hangman in reverse with the page of wands. The page of wands is again very passionate, very fearless, you know. Um, with the hangman, that could be somebody that's stuck on the old perspective, stuck on viewing things a certain way, not opening. Somebody that can be very stagnant or stuck on viewing certain in a certain light, not able to see past. It also can mean insanity to me sometimes, you know. Um, thinking of something that's a different result or pondering on something waiting for a different result. For some of y'all, with this hangman reversing the page of wands and the six of swords, it can be as far as some of y'all, you can have a lot of creative ideas, a lot of innovative ideas, and you can mention that to other people around you, and it may not seem as it's it's energy where you can want to do something that's really that that's really big, that's really innovative. But with the six of swords here in reverse, is to talk about not moving. Some of y'all, yes, and some of y'all are, are some of y'all need to move. Or y'all need to do something different to gain something different. Like, I don't know how to express that. We got the, some of y'all with the nine of wands. The reason why you keep having setbacks or you're not 
things are not flowing as quickly as you wanted to is because there's something that you're not letting go. Some of y'all need to release an old belief or something like that to gain more. We got the Queen of Cups. Some of y'all, y'all keep getting, y'all can get a bigger bag, but y'all do the same thing with it for some of y'all. And that's another case. So take what Resident Evil doesn't. For some of y'all, it can even far as you need to invest and you're afraid of losing. But it, some of y'all are going to have to invest in order to receive more, you know? So I'm going to throw out some more messages for y'all. But this is for your career finance reading. We got your story gorgeous. I can't stop staring. So some of y'all are meant to be... Okay, so some of y'all are literally meant to be like a Lori Harvey or y'all are meant to make money off of y'all looks for some of y'all. Y'all are meant to be, you know, a model or y'all are meant to be somebody that makes money off your looks, give views off of attention of who you are. Uh, some of y'all, it could be something that you do where people can't stop staring at it because you're so good at it, you're so detailed at it, you're so advanced at what you do. So there's something that you could be really good at that people can't take their eyes off. So if there's something that you do, keep doing it. Put more effort into it. Be more versatile. Figure out how you can switch things up. Put more of your creativity in it. Bring that spark back to it. You know, hit them with that three, that three, two, one. Okay, that boom, ba, pow. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, we got a smoker or a drinker. So some of y'all, if you are a smoker and a drinker, for some of y'all, you could be a smoker where you may need to grow your own stuff. Some of y'all, if you're a drinker, you may need to come out with your own drink. Some of y'all, I'm also getting where, again, I did get addictions. If you have addictions of smoking and drinking, you may need to cut back on that because it's, your money is going to that. And it's, it's, it can you lose out on certain stuff. Some of y'all, you could be good at tattooing stuff. And you need to put yourself out there more. Y'all could be good at making it. Some of y'all, you don't even have to do tattoos. Some of y'all could do art and make good art that people want to use as their tattoos or something like that. Some of y'all, y'all could be good at making digital art, making art for other people, making art for people to use. Some of y'all are able to tattoo, able to do henna, but some of y'all you are you come you you can make a make art for people or something like that. We got very helpful, generous, and thank you. So you being you being given is gonna come back tenfold for you. So some of y'all you you by you giving away the resources that you did have, it will come back to you. But you gotta recognize when it comes towards you, you need to keep it you know don't give it out we also got captivated can keep others attention so some of y'all you're able to keep other people attention so that's something that you're good at you were able to hold people attention you're very impressionable you're able to keep people's attention so use that if you know you're able to if we, see we got territorial here some of y'all need to be more territorial over your stuff be more guarded over your stuff not giving away you know be territorial over your ideas as well because could be, people could be people that want your ideas Want the way you, cause you, the way of you, the way you think. But some of y'all, you're really good at holding people's attention. So get on, put yourself out there. You can, you, you can. Some of y'all are like, are are able to have a whole TV show about yourself. You know how hard it is to have a TV show about yourself and, and keep people interested. Some of y'all are interested where you're able to keep people's attention. So y'all need to keep keep that in mind when it comes to your career finances and what you want to do. We got hair, hair done, nails, everything there. Some of y'all, you could be somebody where you're meant to show other people how you upkeep the stuff that you have, how you maintain the things that you have. Some of y'all, y'all are meant to uh wear certain clothes. I'm getting like a model. Some of y'all are meant to, you know, be one of the models where you can wear certain things and model people's stuff. We also got getting money out. So some of y'all, you will get money off of something that's very expensive. You're going to actually get 50% off of it. And it's going to save you a lot of money. Or you're going to find something that costs a lot of money that's going to be cheap for you. Like say something $500, you may find it for $250 or less, you know? Shit like that. We also got look, you love your beard, very sexy. Some of y'all, I don't know, for my masculine, you growing your beard out, that may help you bring in more money or something like that for some of y'all um it can make you look more i don't know mature make you more i don't know some of y'all some of y'all i don't know take a resonate some of y'all y'all could be really good at upkeeping your beard shaping your beard up some y'all can know how to cut hair putting yourself out there more if you a hairstylist don't just do hair record it you know being innovative coming up with other ideas to make what you do currently better some of y'all we got natural body so sexy so some of y'all you have a natural body you know your body's not sexy um, it's something that you're supposed to be doing as far as, you know, showing it off or being a model or dressing in different clothes for people. See, we got versatile, switch things up. 
yeah some of y'all we got love some of y'all need to put more love into what you do switch things up be more versatile some of y'all need to be more versatile with who you are and your style putting yourself out there opening yourself up to different ideas we got breakthrough getting over obstacle slick so some of y'all you are going to get over some we got getting over obstacle and slick so for some of y'all i don't know how this could resonate with some of y'all but there could be something that come up and come up like something like for instance say you get pulled over or something like that some of y'all this may necessarily happen some of y'all y'all may get pulled over y'all may actually uh not get a ticket for some of y'all you know you i don't know you being slick you may get off by being slick some of y'all is going to be something that comes up where it's going to meant to cause you it's going to meant to be an obstacle but you're going to get by it some way you're going to be you're going to be able to get by it some way so I don't know how that resonates for some of y'all. So some of y'all, it could be something where something comes up and it's meant to it's meant to cause an obstacle. Like when you want someone to cop pull you over, you're supposed to expect a ticket. You may not get a ticket. So something like that. It don't have to be that. But something could come up in your career of finances where or come up in general where you where it's meant to cause a problem, but it's gonna be taken care of. You're gonna get by. You're gonna be like, damn, that was a close one. You know, that was a quick one, something like that. Or damn, you know, so Take a resonate, leave with dozen, peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, most. Till next time. Bye.